Aloha, I'm Andy and I will make a short review for the Miriam My 8311 Notebook. I hope my video will be helpful in deciding if it's worth to spend your money for this notebook. My friend bought for her daughter the Miriam My 8311 RD Notebook. At first look the notebook is very thin. The notebook dimensions are about 31.7 by 21.5 by 1.3 centimeters. The notebook looks very good, the case is made from a good quality plastic. On the notebook display back cover you can see the Miriam logo. The bottom case has only one access door, probably for the RAM. The legs are made of rubber and are nearly 2 millimeters tall. If you want to disassemble you have to remove the 12 screws. On the bottom case you can see the notebook model name, power supply specification, serial number, the manufacture country and of course is made in China. On the right side is one 3.0 USB port, one 3.5 mm audio output and one microSD card reader. On the left side is one 3.0 USB port. The power supply plug and one minute me port. The notebook is fanless, so it will run very quietly. And now let's see the specifications. The display is a 13.3 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 pixel IPS display, and the display came with an applied screen protector. The keyboard came with English layout. In case of damaging the keyboard, you will have to replace the whole top cover with the touchpad. The power button is on the keyboard. The hard disk drive is a 32GB SanDisk EMMC hard disk drive. The notebook came with pre-installed Windows 10 Home X64 operating system. The operating system use about 14.3GB and the remain free space is about 14GB. The CPU is a dual-core Intel Celeron N4000 with 4 MB cache level 2 and 6 W thermal design power CPU. The processor base frequency is 1.10 GHz and the burst frequency is 2.40 GHz. The video card is the integrated Intel UHD Graphics 600. The RAM memory is a 4 GB DDR4 RAM. The camera is a 0.3 megapixel camera and the battery is a 4000 milliamp 2 cell battery. After using a couple of hours, I have to say it is working better than I expected. And now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of this notebook. It is very thin and lightweight. Because it's very thin, might broken easily. Has a lower 6 watts TDP CPU with integrated VGA chip which can play 1080p videos. It's not suitable for new games. 2 cell 4000 mAh battery. Built in battery. Fast 32 GB CMMC hard disk drive. The HDD has only 14 GB free space. In my opinion, this notebook is a good choice to work in MS Office. Listen music, watch 720p, 1080p videos on YouTube, internet browsing, sending emails, learning and because of his size and his weight you can take with you anywhere. In my next video, I will do a quick benchmark for this notebook. Thanks for watching, don't forget to, share, comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time, goodbye.